Hello my lovies, it's me, it's your Dory. Right, this is the final part of Get Ready With Me. Please excuse the way I look, the way I sound, and the fact that I've got the fan on in the background because I am just hot, bothered, and absolutely exhausted. Nemo decided he wasn't going to sleep last night. Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 he's going to keep punching me in the face every time he turned over to check I was still there and I hadn't, you know, vanished. Um, so yes, I, I've gone back to the last one and tried to sort of recreate that look. Um, one thing I have done that's slightly different that you might notice is I've done my eyebrows just teeny tiny bit darker. And all I did was, she says, I just used my little my little brush like that um, and dipped it into a medium to dark brown and I just sort of if you what if you watch there I just went dit, 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 dit. so you see there it looks more like brush um, hair than just the wax eyeliner which is actually an Avon one and um, I've had it for ages I I've used those for ages because. What I find is, because they're wax pencils, um, they last longer, and also they help the, if you're gonna go a little bit darker, they help that, um, the, sh the shadow or the powder to adhere to your eyebrows, so they stay longer, they look better. So there you go, that's where we're up to. So, I do believe we ran out of time, didn't we? Because Mr. Dory was saying that dinner was ready and, and this, that and the other. Bless his heart, he's, ugh. I'll update you in a vlog later what's happened this morning, it's been chaos. Right, so, <coughs> excuse I. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Right, I had a look at my eyes and I wasn't happy with the, with how light they were because we're doing a sort of bronzy summer look, weren't we? <laughs> Say yes, Dory. Cool, right, I'm sure that's what we're doing. So, we're still on eyes. Um, we're gonna finish eyes and do lips and then we should be done, my darlings. Bloody hell, that's a massive bird. Um, again, we've got the issue with the lighting uh, from the house next door. Every time the sun comes out, it's like, whoosh. but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. I should get it done. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely shattered, so bear with. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do sort of like a, finish off the summery bronzy look okay so we're going to do eyes again so I'm just going to bring you in a little bit not too much because I don't want to scare you we'll just start like with one and then we'll do obviously match them up so we were using elf and it's number one two three four five across the nudes mattes palette do you remember one, two, three, four, five, that one. So that's what we're using. And we're just gonna pop it in the crease. Again, I just I just want to add a little bit more because I'm not happy with, with um, how it blended out. It seemed to vanish. Or it looked that way when I played back the, um, the Get Ready With Me continuation. So how are you, my loves? Are you enjoying the, the um, sun and rain that we're having today? That's what we're having here. So it's beautiful. It's really, really hot and clammy. And uh, so I've got a vest on, vest up on. I'm just like, Ugh. Um, I've got to pop into school later and do choir and go and see um, <clears throat> my little reception lot and see how they're doing. Uh, Nemo did his, um, they did the year five uh, worship assembly this morning, which basically is like, what have you, what was your favourite bit about year five? You know, um, and they, they had to draw it in the book. And he's a lovely one-to-one, -one, bless her heart. I, you know, I don't know what we're going to do without her. She took a picture and sent it to me, which she's allowed to do because it's they have this system where they can send pictures of what the children are doing, what activities they're doing, which is great. 
Um, some children are excluded for that for reasons that I'm not going to go into. Um, but yeah, uh, he looked ever so proud. So um, unfortunately, I had had an emergency or an urgent hospital appointment that they were, they said I absolutely must attend because been there. That was, I think it was like this fourth visit now. And we were getting nowhere, and I was getting more and more frustrated, so I phoned up and complained. So, so anyway, they, we had to be there for nine o'clock. <laughs> we didn't get seen until, uh, I think it was 9.35. Um, and poor Mr Doris had to literally drop me off, slow down enough to drop me off, <laughs> back home again, and go and meet with a client. <sighs> so it's been one of those mornings. So I couldn't go. And he couldn't go, so the the wonderful, beautiful flow went for me, um, which was nice because it meant that you know his big sis was there. Okay, so let's come back a bit. I'm just gonna pop a bit more there. I've got a reflection from someone. I can't see what it thinks of my rings, isn't it? Honestly, Dory. There we go. Of Obviously, I'm literally basically going to blend this out. But yeah, how are you guys doing, eh? My fibro hates me at the minute. This It's just because it's humid, you know? The weather changes, my fibro goes, Ugh! and I'm like, <laughs> leave me be. Right, okay. I think I might add a little bit of rose gold just to enhance the bronze, I think. If I look in my mirror, I have to look in my mirror to make sure that I've not gone too mad with it. Which to you, this must look really, really pale, but to me, it's really intense. Which I think is what was what was the issue when I, when I played it back. So... Let us blend that in with our little blendy brush. Where's the little blendy crease brush? So this is in a, believe it or not, it's an elf. <laughs> blending brush, who would have thought it? Hmm? Dora using an elf brush. So it's just a little, little fluffy brush. So we like this one. I'm gonna try and take these rings off actually. Oh, we're coming off today. This one doesn't want to. Oh God, no. That one's too swollen. Oh, it's very swollen. It doesn't want to come off. Sorry. So we're going to just have one. Okay, so there we go. Let's get blending. Do just nice and gently. I think we might have a thunderstorm, actually. That would clear the air. That would be lovely, wouldn't it, eh? Oh, I'm hot. Sorry, I've got the fan on as well in the background, if you can hear that. I'm sorry. It's too hot. Too hot. So don't take it too far out, you know, because otherwise I'm going to end up with eyeshadow all out here. Which is what you don't, you want to take it really to the end of your brow line. And just a tiny bit further out than your eye line. And the same on the other side. Um, we did the highlighter, do you remember? So we've got the highlighter on already, I don't know if you can see it. There you go, you can see it now. Okay. So we just still blend, blend, blend. La, 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 la. Oh, and the traffic was bad, and everybody was being a C next Tuesday, and it was just like, oh, for goodness sake. My story was getting stressed, and there's something wrong with the car. I was like, oh, I just can't cope with it all, you know? It's all, some days it's all just like, oh, I want to go back to bed, but I can't go back to bed. I've got too much to do. And there we go. So remember what I said, uh, because I've got hooded eyes, I like to bring my 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 main colour up to, so that I've got, let me take you out of it, I forgot I brought you in. Right, oh, ah! <laughs> Sorry, wait, bear with, there we go. <gasps> Stop it, being naughty. There we go, hello. Sorry about that. Oh, back setting. So I like to bring mine up to here where my 
part goes up. And again, I don't like the thick eyebrows on me because it swallows up the area that I have to work with. The only area that I have to work with, which is like here. So, don't look at my nails, for goodness sake. They're hideous. Um, I had acrylics on. I did it myself. They weren't acrylics, they were fake, sticky on nails that you get from wherever. Um, I did it myself and they lasted for nearly three weeks. <gasps> OMG. And do you know how much they were? A pound. So there you go, ladies. Don't be fooled by thinking you can't do it yourself if you haven't got time or, or the money to go and have your nails done by, uh, you know, a nail tech and have acrylics done. Because I'm going on holiday in a couple of weeks. I'll be doing my own again. Now I know what to do. And I just followed a very, very um, simple but informative tutorial by um, my beautiful friend Sarah Bichette. She's just hit 10k um, subscribers, which is amazing because it. I mean, I remember when she was a, a still at 1k, she hit 1k, and we were all like, yay, you know, good for you. Um, but she, her nails have actually just, they are amazing. I wish I could wear them, but I just can't. She, she has like st these stiletto nails that are long enough to, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. You could probably reach your brain if you tried to pick your nose, if that's all I'm saying. But they are stunning. And the way she does them, it's just short nails as well, but the way she does them, it's just amazing. And the colours and the designs and yeah, she likes a bling and a glitter. Don't you, my love? <laughs> right, so that's that. I'm happy with that now. I'm going to pop a little tiny bit of um, rose gold. Now, this again is an elf palette <laughs> and it's called Rose Gold Sunset. Okay, Rose Gold Sunset. So if we open that up, look at all those beautiful colours. Look at that. Shiny, shiny. So... I'm going to be brave and I'm going to go in with this one. Um, just in the corners, just to, just to give it a little, you know, bit of, bit of a... So um, I'm going to use a very small brush, if I can find it, wherever I put it. La la la, talk amongst yourselves while I do this. Oh, there it is. So a little tiny brush like that. You just need a very small brush because, and you don't want to overload your brush. Um, this isn't an elf brush, it's just, let me show you actually, I'm going to make sure I don't get kicked off again after half an hour. But it's just like a really small brush. Okay, so, and with this I found it does go on really quickly and it is very, very high pigment and you get a lot of fallout, so you, you I am I am very very gently just going tap 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 onto there and just loading my brush up because it it just goes everywhere. You've got to be so super super careful <sighs> rather than tapping. You I blow the the excess, excess and put my teeth in. Okay, now I need to do this with my mirror. I'm sorry. So um, I'm going to show you as well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna close my eye. And I'm just going to, okay, I've got where I want to be. I'm just going to pop it here. And I'm going to very, very gradually, very gradually, can you see that? Yeah, just there in the corner. I don't want any more than that because um, I'm supposed to be doing a daytime look, and as I said, I've got going to school later. I mean, you could take it all off, but you know, what's the point in that? Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, I opened the cupboard last night. No, actually, Flo opened the cupboard last night downstairs, one of the kitchen cupboards. <gasps> and there was loads of spiders in it. I was like, ah, ooh. so, uh, of course, Mr. Dory wasn't here. He was playing golf. <laughs> so, um, I've, I'm, I, I know, I know, you're going to all go Dory, but I had to get rid of them. 
Um, so, oh, do you know, I'm tempted just to do a little bit here as well, I think. Oh, yeah, let's, let's just, uh, just bear with me while I do this bit. Um, so, yeah, we had to get rid. Sorry. Sorry, I know, God's creatures and all that. Um, but, yeah, I, uh, there was a gigantic male. Um, you know those ones that got a big body, a little body, but huge, tiny stick legs? Or there was, we found four, but there's got to be more. Well, there's got to be more. So, Mr. Dory, is his job at the weekend is to clean out that cupboard because it was just disgusting. I was like, I, I was very, very nearly, like, screaming and, and everything. Um, so... Wasp and fly killer, I'm afraid, uh, became my best friend last night, um, and I did actually do the do with them. Sorry, but I had to because I, 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 that's I have two phobias. One is fire, being being trapped in a fire. I've had, I've always had that fear because when I was little, I fell onto do you remember the really old gas fires with the grates across like that and you could like like one or two pat like burners behind the fire had been on so it's hot and i tripped and i fell and i put my hands out and put my hands straight on the oh straight on the fire mm. so that wasn't that wasn't nice or pleasant or anything um so anyway yeah um, my other one is spiders I can't stand them. I can't, I can't, I can't. If they stay up there, that's fair game. Once they start coming down, mm -mm, no. Off you pop. <laughs> you either go or, you know, Mr. Dory will come and get get them for me. Or, if he's not here, I'm sorry, it's... So, I know, I know, I know it's cruel, but I just, I can't, I can't do it. So there you go. That was my evening last night. So yes, went to this hospital appointment this morning. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, okay? Can you see that? What I've done just just makes your eye just go you know, a little bit more. So do the same on the other side. Um so yeah, this morning's hospital appointment was uh for my gyne bit sand bulbs and they have finally after much uh yes you will <laughs> from me they are going to give me a an elective hysterectomy so i've i've been asking for years for, an, for a hysterectomy i have horrendous problems with my plumbing with my lady plumbing um so and i've had enough i've had enough um yeah you know i could go into menopause uh, many pores menopause at any moment because i'm 44. i can't wait that long when I, when it's that time i just i can't it kills me because my fibro means that my pain levels just go through the roof and not only that i have very heavy periods um so i'm in bed for two days and it, you know it cost me a bloody fortune because i can't ju I, I can't use um a moon cup anymore because of the pain i i get pain internal pain you know which is crazy i hate it i absolutely hate it right i'm going to soften this out a bit because it does look like i am um, going out for the evening which I'm not so we're going to go back to the little fluffy bush and just soften that out um, but yeah I've put it underneath as well and I'll blend that out as well okay so we're going to do a little bit more blending now <sighs> same brush and I'm just gonna all I'm gonna do is just bring it up bring it out, bring it up and bring it out and just, just whiz it round in the corner. <gasps> got 10 minutes left. Ah! And it's going to chuck me out again. It's because I'm talking too much. Shut up, Dory. Stop talking. Okay. 
one up, bring it up, bring it up. You know what? I'm actually going to bring that right up into the crease as well. Because I really like that colour. Makes my eyes look very, very blue. Which is what we want. What are they grey today? I can't tell. They change colour in my eyes. Some some days they're grey. And some days they're very blue. And some days they look a bit greeny. So. I don't know. What do you think they are today? I'm not sure. So there we go. That's that bit done. Now. Um, okay. Oh, what's happened there? what God gave your fingers for, excuse me, that's, that's gone into my eye, ow, <laughs> what have I got, something in my eye, yeah, okay, right, let's just, um, ow, do you hear my neck click then, <laughs> there we go, that's better, that's better, Dory, well done, get rid of that bit there, and let's even this up as well. Hair there, go away. What goes in my eye? <laughs> in my eye. So, next we're going to do mascara. Um, and I quite like the mascara I'm using at the moment. I, I'm terrible for mascaras. I will see one and go, ooh because it promises you the world and then you get it and you buy it and it's shit so Flo gets most of my most of my mascaras <laughs> so right what we're going to do next is curl their beautiful lashes curl 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 where's my curlers there we go actually yes before I do that I need to put my lip primer on I'm getting old now. And just very fine lines. And yes, it is made by Elf. Hang up. I'll just leave that to dry. And yes, I have gone over the line with my lips purely because I want it to um, hold. So that's that. Right, let's do this bit. Okay. Please, 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 make sure they're clean. There's nothing worse than trying to curl your eyelashes with dirty curlers because what will happen is that the mascara that's already on there will go onto your eye and pull your lashes and it will bloody hurt, okay? So excuse I will like, while I just go a little bit over here with my, um, make sure you line them up and then just squeeze. Some people say pump, some people say move them down. You do it your way, this is how I do it. So you guys going on holiday this year? You going anywhere nice? It's like a hairdresser. Okay. All right, so once, once you've got a good volume what I do then is get my uh, technique is it technique one it is this one yeah techniques um, comb and I just make sure that we haven't got any sort of clumps or anything like that going on what's that there the hair that's all right you can see right and then it's mascara time and today mm -hmm, I'm going to use uh, this is Maybelline no L'Oreal L'Oreal um, Miss Baby Miss Baby Roll and it's waterproof and volume now what you want to do is make sure that you roll or you go from the tip zigzag like that or you roll however is best for you okay I prefer to sort of look right down and just give them a bit of a wiggle. There's nothing wrong with a wiggle on a Thursday. 
hope it's going to let me do my lips. So I can be sorry, it should have waffling. If not, we'll have to do it again, won't we? We'll have to carry on. So the good thing about using a waterproof mascara over a non-waterproof mascara is it tends to hold the curl and the volume for longer, especially when it's humid. You know, when you straighten your hair and you look amazing, and then you go outside and it just goes Mm hmm Okay, bottom lashes very gently, very careful. I've actually started to lose a lot of my lashes. Um, and I've noticed that they're going very grey. They're not as dark as they used to be. Um, I can get them tinted and get them dyed. But to be absolutely honest with you, I can't afford it at the minute. So um, I could do it myself. But... I'm not confident enough to do that. You don't mess around with your eyes if, you, if you're not, you know, 100% sure. Um, and then just do the bottom, like so. Okay, let that dry. I know you've got, you know, and then you can go over you with your comb. Don't worry about it, okay? Same on the other side. Okay, and just make sure that you, they're all even and you've got good firm pressure on, but you don't want to be pulling, so don't pull your um, eyelash curlers because it'll bloody hurt. <laughs> and I'm sorry about the bags under my eyes, I'm so tired. Okay. 